Playmobil and this is Pirate Ship 3750. It's pretty much the same ship as the other ship 3050. With some differences. For example, the sticker right here gives a nice red tone to this ship. It has a new sticker with a lion and a sword, a pirate sword. It has stickers on top of each window. First, the pirate crew. As you can see, we have a kitty, a chimpanzee, uh, five different pirates. One of them is a little boy. Uh, there's a parrot. The sails. We have a cool looking lion with a sword. The same coat of arms from the window here. And every sail has a drawing now that it makes it look like it has been stitched just like they used to stitch long sheets of panels all together in order to make these large sails. The flags are brand new as well. We have a black pirate flag and a red sword flag. We get just these two flags. And notice how they're playing. They're just straight. They don't have ondulation. And here, this is brown. This shows that this ship is uh, the newer version from 1990. See right here? It's also brown. It is really nice how they put stickers all on top of these windows so it looks a lot more cooler. So that's one other difference from the first version of this ship. Remains a shiny lantern for the boat as well. The boat now has a um, an area for the foot for both sitters here. One here, one here and you can have your foot there so you don't fall easy. Most of the features of the boat itself are the same. You have a bell, you have two cranes, you have the basement area over there the crane hook right here is still metal see that the anchor is still metal i went i went ahead and put all the accessories back in there organized with the characters and so you can see how it is what it comes with and what it looks like when you have all of them installed so we have a little lady here we have wine with cups the, the new version of the trumpet is not shiny. We also have the binocular that's not shiny. We get a different chest with gold inside. The cannonballs now come in a different triangular holder and they're still round. Some could still be white. The cannons are the same. Just like so, you can have your pirate captain also participating on the ship crew. We have our fisherman also arriving on the scene. He might he just got a bunch of fishes for the crew of the ship. He's arriving, he's ready to land and climb inside the, the hull. Our friend here, stranded friend on a raft, brought over the shark and he's ready to be rescued. Looks like the parrot made a friend. Now there are two parrots. Pretty much all of these sets go together and uh, you can unite them all and make a very large pirate ship crew. We have a little chimp up there. The flags are also different on this version. We have a skull there, a orange and yellow, I'm, I'm sorry, orange and red flag with a white and red flag on that. That's how the pirate cabin looks like. Uh, we do have a little, a little painting on the wall there of a pirate from history. Everything else is the same, the tables, the chairs, and the bookshelf in there. And these are all the characters with their accessories removed. Some accessories I have not removed, so they don't break upon removal. You might recognize this guy. We reviewed that a little earlier, so we have two of them. They just got re-released with this ship. So you can have the main captain as a captain of the ship. We have five pistols, two pickaxes, two shovels, two poles, a spoon that's not shiny. We also have a uh, binocular, monocular, a shiny lantern, a different map this time, a yellow map, two knives that are different from those white knives, two buckets, the other one is over here, one barrel, megaphone that's also not shiny, two swords that aren't shiny, a silver non-shiny sword, one shiny sword for the captain, a device to tell distance, distances and where north is and, and such. 
The cannons are absolutely the same. It does have a different uh, pole to put the powder inside. It's silver and different with this uh, drawing in it. The balls are the same. They can also be white for the set. We have sandals for the guy that has no shoes. His feet is exposed. We have uh, a triangular holder for the balls. A kitty, two rifles. The lady's hat with a red feather on it, her pink sword holster, and a, uh, a boot for the old man that has only one leg, so only one boot. His hat, a hat for the little boy. There is, of course, a chimp. And back here, if you look, we have two cranes with different chests. This is the chest that opens, and it does come with, with treasure this time. We have a wine bottle with glasses. There's a lot of accessories, a lot of accessories. These flags are, are very different. There's the parrot. She has a uh, wrist cuffs and a necklace. And this little boy here has a permanent tie, cannot be removed. Looks like the British took back this ship. They hang their flag up there. They rescued the ship for the queen and they have captured all the pirates they're tied up on the masts they hang some of them upside down on the sails here near the sails and i think i know what happened it's uh very likely that they were betrayed by this guy who seems to be just a british soldier dressed as a pirate i guess this ship is going to sail to great britain and all the pirates were declared criminals and charged with criminal conduct of piracy they're going to be executed I am sorry but the Queen declared that even the boy needed to be executed oh, there she goes BAM! Execution has been successful.